What's going on, guys? Welcome, Blazzy Black. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in once again for some more The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 11 and 12. And as I've promised, I will do 13, 14, and 15 together. Um, so make sure you look out <clears throat> for that as to not leave 15 by itself to be recorded with. Could do that. I'll make a separate video, but I won't. You know what I'm saying? Let's just end out the season with a three episode bang. But today it's only four, eleven and twelve. So um as we know, man, things are getting spicy. Um, but I have to say this. I have to say this, cause you know, I don't wanna keep going and <clears throat> you know, so I heard it from a a little birdie. Before I started to record this episode, um, you know, I was talking to somebody online on Discord, actually. Now I'll tell you guys who it is. Uh, it's not it's not really it, the person didn't spoil me by any means. I don't feel spoiled at, at anything. Um, if anything, he saved me some trouble of speaking about this going forward. And that is Rick coming back. So Rick never came back for the season. Um, you know, um, yeah, Rick never came back. So I'm going to stop expecting Rick or to see Jadis or any of them. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to stop saying things, um, going forward during my outros and intros. You, you've always hear me say that, um, still no update on Rick. And that's me going into things blindly, not knowing. So now that I know, um, I can stop looking forward to it. I don't know if they're going to bring Rick back in later seasons of the show. Like, um, we didn't go into details or talk about any of that, but I do believe that they might bring him back because I mean, he's a series favorite. They didn't kill him. So you get what I'm trying to say? Like he's not dead, but the rest of the cast does not know that. So they could bring Rick back at some point. You get what I'm saying? So they can't just leave because if if the case happens that they leave, it's that part of the story so open ended and there's no conclusion to it. I'm going to be really mad at the show and I'm definitely going to be taking off points. If I see a couple of seasons like 11 is season 11 and season 12 come along and we still don't have no update on Rick, I'm going to be real mad. I'm going to be really mad at the show and I'm going to take off points off the season reviews because of that, because you can't just have an open ended storyline like that, because all this time, because of how The Walking Dead has been written over all these years and all these seasons that's been going on, characters that, you know, will disappear, they will come back in later seasons, you know what I'm saying, i.e. people like Morgan, you get what I'm saying, um, you know, Maggie has been gone for a while too, I don't even know if Maggie is coming back either, but it seems like they're reaching out, I think at some point they gotta give us an update, update on Maggie, we didn't talk about that, we just talked about Rick, he just let me know that Rick didn't come back for season 10. This whole time I thought he was going to come back at least. You know what I'm saying? I don't know because they haven't aired the final episode of season 10 yet. So I'm wondering if that's what they're trying. That's what they're going to do. Like give us a surprise to get. Because I mean they're going to need a little boost before they come back for season 11. Or to get people hyped because of all this stuff that is going on right now. But anyways we're going to jump into episode 11 of season 10. Make sure you guys come back to check out the review. Wow. <laughs> so all I can say right now is, wow, my God, that was brilliantly executed by the entire team for the season um, of letting Negan out and you know, him joining up with them. We don't know what the purpose is, but I would, but I said this, I would say it doesn't make sense because I did say it. I think it was during this reaction. One of the episodes, I know I was talking about it. I think it was this episode, um, last episode, episode 12, 
where I was saying it just doesn't make sense. Why go through a season and a half of trying to redeem a character and then let him go rogue again? It doesn't make sense. It's obvious that Negan changed. It's so obvious he's changed. It's not even funny. You get what I'm saying? Like he changed and I advocate for that. You get what I'm saying? I advocate for that. So it was like, I'm looking at it and I'm saying it just doesn't make sense for me to go over, even though I was teetering on thinking, oh, maybe it did go bad, but I was still like 90% sure they wouldn't do that to Negan's character again. It just didn't make sense. Um, if you're writing a story, right, if you're writing a story and you redeem a character, it makes no sense for you to make that character go back into what they used to be again. You get what I'm saying? And be like, oh, okie doke, I'm a triple double agent. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It just doesn't make sense. And it, it's, it gets tiring. You get what I'm saying? It gets tiring. And, you know, if they had went that direction, they would have lost points for me when it comes on to, you know, character development and stuff like that. Because you can't spend all this time him connecting with the with the people at Alexandria in such a way where he saved Lydia and I was like did Negan really lead Lydia to her slaughter but I thought maybe the fact that he was standing behind her is what told me that something else was gonna go down here um and I kind of knew I was like the minute that's how Lydia came out I was like oh shit Negan is gonna kill this bitch <laughs> you know what I'm saying so that was definitely, if, even though it, I kind of knew it was going to happen, you get what I'm saying, kind of predicted it was going to happen based on what was going on and how the scenes were shot and stuff like that, it's still surprising and still very satisfying to me. Uh, but what, it, what does this mean? You get what I'm saying? Um, so now that we kind of know that Carol let him out, right? Carol's the one that let him out. So I'm guessing both of them had a plan because that's what I was saying. Maybe Negan should have told somebody. That's what I was saying when he met up with Aaron and Aaron was like, I should kill you because they thought he left and went and joined the enemy. And I was like, it just doesn't, it just didn't add up for Negan to just come out solely to just go hang out with these new skin people. You get what I'm saying? It just didn't make sense. And I was like, no way, Negan must have a plan. He must go in in there, infiltrate in the ranks to try to learn how they move and stuff like that. I'm also wondering if he, him and Carol has been in communication. I think they've been in communication. You get what I'm saying? I think they've been in communication. Um, were they signaling like, I don't know what to think about the beta thing of somebody recognizing who he is. And I still didn't recognize who he is because his face was like covered up and stuff. So I'm wondering if it's somebody that we know went back as beta or they killed beta at some point and they went back at it, back as him. You get what I'm saying? And they recognize him from somewhere else or something. But nobody is that big and burly from our group. So I don't know. I don't know. Who to think these people are? You get what I'm saying? I don't know if somebody switched places with him. I don't I don't know. I don't want to go down that road, but I'm guess by the end of the next three episodes that I'm going to do, hopefully we will know what that is. But all I know is best episode of the season so far, episode 12 of season 10. Best episode of the season so far, hands down. Until I see the other three, I can determine um, and then... I don't know when the final episode is going to air, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know if they've even set a date for it yet. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But anyways, man, you guys have been great. You guys have been awesome. Keep, keep hitting that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section, and I will see you guys next time for some more The Walking Dead. Peace.